Hi friends, uh, Gene Burnett here. Um, uh, recently someone commented on YouTube they liked my version of uh, Red River Shore by Bob Dylan. Asked me how to uh, about the chords and I thought I'd just make a quick how to play video. How to play, how I play, I'm not going to say. If it's one of my songs, I'll call it how to play one of my songs. Like, uh, can't think of a title at the moment. I've well, got over 800, but I'm just spacing on a title. How to play uh, uh, The Geezer's Lament. <laughs> then I would say, here's how you play that. But, but in this case, it's a Bob Dylan song. So this is how I play it, not how to play it. You can play it. Uh, the way Bob plays it, or you can play it the way I play it, or you play it the way you play it. But the way I play it, I like that song so much. I love the lyrics so much of that song that I like to stretch it out and, you know, put some extra pauses in there. So, first of all, the chords. I'm, I'm dropping my two uh, E's to D's. So this one down to D, this one down to D. Fourth string is a D, so boom, boom, boom. so normally you play a D chord like this, but in this case you get that, so you lift that finger, like brings it back to that low D. Now to get a little extra moxie on my D, I'm going to put my pinky here on the fourth fret, uh, fourth string. Fourth fret, fourth string, yes. As opposed to. So it's. Because that's kind of how where he starts the song. Some people say. Da, 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 da. So I'm just echoing the melody. So this, this one is free. So you can flip off the audience while you play the song. So you got. Except for a G would be, but I don't like that. I like that D drone. So I'm just putting my pinky and my little my ring finger there on the fifth fret, fifth and sixth strings. third fret second string just gives it another D Second fret, second string. So the full E chord. So so far we've got the monster D. Some of us turn off the lights and we live in the moonlight shooting by. Some of us scare ourselves to death in the dark. Sliding it on the um, second string from the second to the third fret. Pretty maids all in a row lined up outside my cabin door. I never wanted any of them wanting me at all, except the girl.
speaker. That's my little hangout. While I sat by her side, for a while I tried. Just to say it's uh, second fret, second and third string. a little deceptive when you're just looking at me play it on the video or you're seeing this because it looks like that's a comp that's only three strings that's only three strings being fretted there second third and fourth strings the rest is all just a drone that's only two strings that it looks like more but it's just my index finger and my <laughs> it's just ah, i can't get my ring finger out of the way yeah it's just 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 those two fingers that's just two fingers. Those key fingers of that is out of there, so you have to keep this drone going. So the rest of it is just phrasing. You have to just kind of, this version of it, I just kind of, just kind of, of opening things to kind of duplicate the sort of uh, atmospheric you know world of the whole band playing that song so I'm just kind of approximating that and then I'm stretching it out I'm putting plenty of little breaks in there as you can tell when you watch the video of me singing I'll put the, the video of me singing it down here uh, under the description of this video if anyone's interested so it's a way to do it I think his version is a little more it, it, there's a little more forward motion it doesn't hang out as much but I just love these lyrics and I want them to kind of resonate and, 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 uh, and, and hang in the air a little bit so I stretched it out it's like an almost a nine minute song when I play it but I like to do that with Bob's songs like come gather around people wherever
accept that that's still you'll be drenched to the bone if your time here is worth saving well you better start swimming or you sink like a stone for the time they are changing I left out a lot of chords but but that basic idea of putting what beats of rest in between the lines instead of just one line into the next. So there you have it, how I play Red River Shore, probably my favorite Bob Dylan song, uh, certainly in my top five or six. <laughs> I hope that's helpful. Please feel free to ask any questions in comments if you have trouble uh, uh, figuring out these chords, and uh, have fun playing Red River Shore. It's a great song. And this particular version gives you plenty of time to find those chords. <laughs> Enjoy.